Welcome to our lecture online. With this particular example, we're going to have to use some other techniques that we've learned so far. Notice we now have the absolute value of 2x minus 3 in the denominator, so how do we get that into the numerator? But then we have to realize whenever we have something that looks like this, a over b equals c over d, we can move anything along the diagonal like that. In other words, we can write that a times d is equal to b times c. So we're going to employ the same technique here. Notice we can write this as 5 over 1. We're going to move this over here and this over here. So 15 times 1 is equal to 5 times the absolute value of 2x minus 3. Then the next thing we want to do is get rid of the 5 on the right side because we want to isolate the absolute value sign. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. And so we end up with 3 is equal to 2x minus 3 inside the absolute value sign. And then typically we like to have the absolute value sign on the left side, so we'll write the absolute values of 2x minus 3 is equal to 3. And now we solve that equation just like we have before. We can then write that 2x minus 3 is equal to the positive value of 3, or 2x minus 3 is equal to the negative value of 3, negative 3. And then we solve those two equations. So here we can write that 2x is equal to 3 plus 3, when we move the negative 3 across the equal sign, 2x is equal to 6, divide both sides by 2, and therefore x is equal to 3 as one possible solution. On the right side, we end up with 2x is equal to negative 3 plus 3 when we move the negative 3 across. So 2x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0. So those are the two possible solutions. Now let's check to see if they are correct. Check. We're going to plug these solutions into our original equation. So is this correct? 15 divided by 2 times 3 minus 3 equals 5, question mark. So 15 divided by the square root, or not the square root, but the absolute value of 6 minus 3, which is 3, is equal to 5, question mark. And sure enough, 15 divided by the absolute value of 3, which is the same as 3, is indeed 5. So we know that this is a good solution. For the second value, x equals 0, plug it in the original equation. When the 15 divided by 2 times 0 minus 3, is that equal to 5? Question mark. So 2 times 0, 0 minus 3, we end up with 15 divided by the absolute value of minus 3. Is that indeed equal to 5? And sure enough, the absolute value of a negative number is a positive number, so that's equal to 3. 15 divided by 3, we get 5 equals 5. And so since that's correct, this is correct as well. And those are the two solutions for our original equation. And that's how it's done.